Okay, so we know what we want to see ultimately in the life of every student. We want them to be disciples who make disciples. But how do we get them there? I mean, that's a really big goal. And for a lot of our students, that seems really far off. So how do we get them to that point? Well, to help you out and to help us out, we've developed a three-stage process. And it's the same process, it's the same graphic that we use in Foundations. And so if you're familiar with Foundations, then you're probably familiar with this too. But it all begins with this graphic. This graphic represents what we want to see in the life of every student and every Christian, whether they're a student or not. This graphic can help you figure out where your students are at in their pursuit of God. It's going to be really helpful as you think about the people in your small group and how you can help them take the next step in following Jesus. So let's review this graphic. The three arrows represent the three foundation truths that we teach. The first one is we start by trusting Jesus, and that's the first arrow. Now, students who are along this arrow are students who are figuring out who Jesus is. These are students who aren't Christians or maybe students that you're not really sure where they're at, if they're Christians or not. And very clearly, what do they need the most? They need a relationship with Jesus Christ. They need to accept him as their savior and accept the forgiveness of sins that he offers them. And so your goal with students that are in this part of the journey is to become Christians, is to put their faith in Jesus and to get baptized. The second arrow represents the second foundation's truth, which is we live to honor God. Once we're Christians, we don't want to just sort of stop with a commitment that we made to Jesus and a baptism. We want to live to honor God with our entire lives. Students who are in this part of the journey are really ready to live their life in a way that honors God. They're really ready to take seriously what the Bible says, whether it challenges them on their gossip, their relationships with the opposite sex, their relationships with parents, struggles with pornography, or whatever it is. Students at this point, they're ready to honor God no matter what it means in their lives. And so think about the people in your group who are already Christians. Are they at the point where they're ready to honor God with their lives? That's the next step for them, and you can help lead them in that journey. The third and final arrow represents the third foundation's truth, we mature by helping people. You see, you don't become mature just when you honor God with your life and when you know a lot about Jesus and a lot about the Bible. You're really mature when you figure out it's not about you. A student who's ready to mature by helping others is a student who realizes that youth group, church, small group, it's not about them. It's not primarily about them and what they get out of it. It's about honoring God and helping others. This kind of student is a student who longs to serve and longs to bring their friends into a relationship with Jesus Christ. They're a student that doesn't complain when things don't go their way or make them happy in youth group because they realize it's not about them, it's about other people. Hopefully by the end of this phase, once you're in the mature by helping people phase in your pursuit of God, by the end of it, you're a person who is ready and who has made disciples. And now you just go through that process with someone else over and over and over again. We believe that by the time a student is in that third and final arrow, when they've really matured by helping other people, then they are a disciple who makes disciples. They've trusted in Jesus for the forgiveness of their sins. They've learned to honor God with their lives. They serve other people, and they make disciples. Now, obviously, they're not, they're not going to be perfect at that. Uh, they're still going to mess up. You're going to have students that fall back uh, to different levels at different times. But we want to encourage students to keep moving forward. And so as a small group leader, your goal is to figure out Where are all your students at? Do they believe in Jesus? Are they honoring him with their lives? Are they realizing that life's not about them? So go ahead and pause this video, discuss some of these questions, and be sure to check out the recap videos from Foundations Truth 1, 2, and 3. They'll remind you what these truths really represent and all that goes into each one of these arrows and how you can see that in the life of a student.